Hey everyone, today we will be doing another lead code 104 maximum depth of the binary tree. So, in this problem, uh, this is an easy problem and also one of the most like problem. Give the root of the binary tree, return this, uh, given the root of the binary tree returns its maximum depth, a binary tree maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from root node down to the furthest leaf node. So, in this example, we have root node as the depth one. And if you know trees or you studied them, you know that how the depth is calculated. Visually, how can you can see that this root will have the length of three because the farthest left node, uh, farthest node of the uh, leaf node is seven, and uh, the root will represent one and this node 20 will represent 2 and the depth is 3 so like you can see here in the output and there is no other examples so what we will be doing it is just doing it by DFS the stack using a stack appending and pop if you have seen other videos we have done it multiple of time like four or five other examples other problems with DFS in which we just put in the stack, pop in the append in the stack, and then pop in the stack, append, pop, append, pop. Uh, you can do it by BFS uh, iterative method, and we'll be by DFS, we will be doing it by iterative method and recursive method. So, both solutions uh, we will be doing it by both solutions. So, at first, we will be checking like on, in all our algorithms that if, if the root is null we just return zero because there is no tree to begin with like the root is null and if it is not null we will just check the left and check the right and that's it now we will write the recursive function first if not root we will just return zero and if not the function will return 1 plus maximum of this is the recursive, uh, recursive solution so we will be passing the left this time root dot left and after that we will pass self dot max left uh, root dot right and that's it this is the recursive solution uh, just a one-liner solution you can say let's submit it and after that we'll be seeing what happened here yeah this works fine now if the root is there is no root to begin with we will just return zero and we will be returning the max plus one plus one because the root itself the head you can say the head here three will be just one uh, level you can say it is a one depth and uh, maximum uh, maximum of these two like uh, which one of these have the more length to it the more depth to it so the nine does not have any other left nodes or right nodes so it will be one it will return one like this it will return one but this function have two depths to it for example 20 20 itself and 15 and 7 these we are these are these are on the same level so we'll be taking two and add it, adding it so it will just return us three return us three and that's it like this was just the recursive solution now we will be doing it by iterative solution and by dfs using a stack and appending and pop append pop like i said before there is nothing else to dfs just append and pop to, from the stack so we'll be making a stack i will make a stack of root alongside the depth and a result will be equal to zero so while our stack is not empty uh, if you have seen other videos so you you know how DFS works just when the stack is empty, we just loop out. So, in this, we will just append to the stack, uh, not a, uh, we will pop, pop, we will stack pop, and 
and we will be saving it in these two variables one will be node and other will be dev devdh dh so whenever we pop we add these two on our stack let me write code then i will go through the whole code so after this we will just check if the node is not null if the node itself is not null we will uh, result result max and i will explain it in a minute just let me write some code so now we will uh, append on stack append on stack we will append node we will be appending a list so a node dot left depth by increasing it by one and just copy the same line here stack dot append list because stack itself is a list of list we are considering it a stack otherwise it is just a list in, list in python r i g s t write and e p t h e s plus one and after doing all of this we will just return the result so uh, now let me explain let me first submit it to see if there are any errors or not so after that we will uh, i will explain so what is going on here we will we have just taken a stack like this let me copy it so that you have a good example i think this is enough so this is you can say is our stack uh, the first node will be re representing it by dpth these are empty this is just heading so that you can understand what is behind uh, what is under these so this is our stack this stack consists of multiple list these lists has uh, a node reference a node a node pointer you can say and the depth portion so when we will be adding uh, when we will then when, when the stack is not null we will be popping from the stack we already have root and one in the stack like this a root is 3 so i'll will be writing 3 and the level of root is 1 we have already um, initialized it or just put put it there out there so what we will be doing is just taking this popping this pop it will remove and put these values in here like depth now has the one value and node will have three reference you can say and whenever the node is null not null node is still there we will be taking the uh, most depth from the result so we'll be appending to the left we will be going to the left now we have nine nine and two in our stack we just incremented depth by one let me write it like this so after that we will go to the right we will go we will be going to the right so we will have 20 uh, 1 plus 1 so our stack look like this and then we will be again the stack is not empty loop will continue we will pop this this is popped okay uh, now we'll see that if if this if, uh, if the nine node if the node that is present node is not null so if the, this node has any length to it or anything uh, leading to it so yes this node will have 15 which will have the depth of 3 and 7 which have the depth of 15 uh, 7 which have the depth of 3 uh, the order which we are going uh, through node is uh, pre order in which we go to the parent first and then left then right we have already done other traversals so i think you know how a pre order traversal works so that's it just pop it again we will be pop it popping it popping it popping it till there are no other left so that's it now when the stack becomes empty we will just re uh, just return resultant because there are no other other stack is empty with there is nothing to left to go through while stack is empty this was our whole condition when we will be uh, re returning the result we will just be returning the depth which is 
uh, the depth of the side of the node with uh, of the side of the tree which have the more uh, depth to it uh, this was just the explanation and that's it